Boom. All right. Just like that. We're out of the high just value. Just like that. We're out of high value targets. We're into another conversation I want to have with, you know, we've been playing worth a first. Probably can't put throw him in this category. No. But he's hot in them streets, so I wanted to give him his due. He's he's been a, a big Oh yeah. Big guy for Matthew. Over oh here. yeah. Oh yeah. Can I get a hell yeah? Can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> what? Um, what? <laughs> I'll drink a beer. We're going to go <laughs> Tyler Algier to wrap this one up. Or if you're single viewing videos, Tyler Algier is worth what? I think you can go up inflection with, with that. Or is it Tyler Algier is worth what? I still don't know what the fuck you're talking about when you say Yeah, that. I don't know. What you're, I, know I, I mean, Some I don't like know what renovation you're show. The, 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 regardless, you, you know what I'm saying. My general. house is worth what? If, if, the, if the tone goes up, you're excited about it. If the tone goes down, you're not excited about it. He's um, worth what? Yeah. So which one is he? <laughs> it's like saying these, these Asian motherfuckers versus like fucking Asians. <laughs> these fucking Asians. Yeah. That was a Bill Burr joke where he's like, white people put the the f- the f bomb in the wrong S- sw- place. <laughs> swear in the wrong spots. <laughs> you got to put it afterwards. Yeah. Um, Shout out right. to Asians. So Tyler Algier, <laughs> where where are we landing with him? Did um, we just get canceled? Are you guys at least paying the two now? Yeah, I think I was sure. always paying the two. He, I was, he just, was paying the two. I was like, man, I, not not everybody can be worth a two, but uh, yeah, good call on the two for sure. I I I was a little lower on him mid to late season. I shot him and Damian Pierce up the rankings. I didn't move Damian Pierce up nearly high enough, but I got Tyler Algier near the front half of the second round in rookie drafts. Yeah, um, and and was down to take him just because I thought he he kind of bell cow ish and. You know, there could be some opportunity here, and, and we're getting it. We, we've got it kind of most of the season, but it's starting to look better. Um, yeah. A and I was later. I was actually decently high on Al- Al- Algier pre, like early yeah. in the yeah, yeah, in yeah. the off season process uh, coming out of BYU. I liked this game, and then when he got drafted, he fell to the fifth round. It was like, ah, well, I've been here before, and kind of lo- and, and didn't necessarily love the Falcons and what was going on there, and and. And then the early season, he didn't get his run. You know, he was getting some good. He wasn't even active. Hype, week, he wasn't but, active yeah. week one, right? And it looked like he was a bust, and it, it really took him to. I mean, what, I was even. Your, I mean, I was even worried week one. I'm like, oh shit, this guy had been fifth high round, on. Right. Not, not even week active one. week yeah. one. Right. Gotta get sweaty. Yeah, right. oh, very sweaty. Right, but the think, truth shall set you free. Yeah, I mean, if you watch him now, I mean, he's out there. He looks like a fucking hoss. You yeah. know, he's. He, he he makes the first guy miss every single time. He runs physical. He's he's he got good contact balance. Like he can catch. He's fucking. He looks good. Five eleven. Fucking Tyler Algier. This Tyler Algier yeah, motherfucker in your bra. <laughs> A hoss. Um. So yeah, he can he can carry the rock. He kind of was a bell cow in, in at BYU and oh, yeah. and comes out here and and not necessarily giving you the bell cow. Not till what week? Uh, what's Usage? Your, what's your, no, I mean, I, your uh, threshold there for I, this this year. Well, week I mean, nine. We're cherry picking stats to make things look as good as possible because that's what you do when you're kind of keep it straight. One hundred yeah, facts. I mean, these are still facts, and I'm, we're keeping it one hundred with you. But like, <laughs> uh, you know, you try to do that Jada Kiss song. You, you pick it. You pick it up. You know, week one doesn't play and then week two you know getting some snaps getting some carries and 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 doing all right with it and then kind of week nine comes along week uh, nine there it is 90.8 pff uh, 90.2 in his his run score that's that's a blue square that's good that's real good um and then you know from from kind of week nine on um he's just really really good i'm I'm missing my notes here somewhere i don't know where the hell they got to legal um but you know, the last three weeks were were what? Where, where were we? RB RB eight, RB twelve, RB twelve. Thanks for my notes, guys. Give me these. Yeah, lick it. Yeah, yeah, lick your finger and then flip the page. All right, let's go here. All right. <laughs> I got some straight facts for you, but they're not as good as just singling out week nine through the so, end of the season. So you go to week nine. He's he's which these stats don't include week 18. We're recording this pre week 18 and week 18 doesn't count for fantasy unless there might be actually something weird going on this year, uh, yeah. depending on what your commissioner in your league decides based on uh shout out to Hamlin, DeMar Hamlin. <laughs> but uh, 
based on what happens with your league, I don't even know what's happening with all of our leagues. I haven't really thought about it or questioned about it. Has all that gotten sorted out? Have not. Okay. We're still hanging out. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Algier since week nine, uh, number one PFF run grade. Woo! Um, number five on the whole year, though. Through, Still really strong. Through there. Number six in yards after contact with 424. Number one with yards uh, after contact per attempt with 4.16. Number two in missed tackles forced with 35. Uh, number nine in yards, 576. Number three in yard per attempt with 5.6. And Dobbins is at the top of that list with 7.0. And uh, James Cook is, is number two with 5.6. So kind of right there with... Uh, or 5.7 right there with um, Algier. Um, so do- shout out to Dobbins, really putting some some hot shit down right now, looking better and better every week. Mm-hmm. Um, number 14 in 10 yards or more, 10 yards plus uh, with, with 12, and an elusive rating number one since week nine, 143.5. Um, only 12 targets, 11 receptions. You know, since, like we said, Huntley injury, week 15, RB7. Um, 18.3 points per game going way up from the seasonal RB points per game at 11.2. Yeah. Um, you know, we just talked about Swift being at 13.5 or whatever. 11.2 doesn't sound nearly as much fun week in, week out, but then you get a little bit closer to usage of what we, we saw in college from, uh, yeah, Tyler I th- Algier. I th- well, he, he's going to need that. He's going to need those 15 to 20 carries to, to work really, to really break down the defense. He's a right. lot he's a different player than 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 Patterson is. When you look through the stat lines, it's very common to see ten for fifty. That's kind of, you know, just basically kind of what he does. Um so if you know if you give him twenty, he's probably gonna get a hundred and he'll do some hot shit along the way. Yeah. Um yeah, he's what he's done and like. just not a whole lot of touchdowns right now. So that's keeping the points per game down a little bit. Um and you know And he can catch but they're feeding Cordero, yeah, right. Which still has another year uh, under contract, and and there's you know there's really no reason to necessarily get rid of him. I mean, he's still useful, so that could be hurtful to him moving forward. And and this offense just not being super great right now could be. But I mean, we talk about it all the time with the Texans and why people don't like Damian Pierce. I mean, uh, Algier got plenty of run here this this year, m- more than maybe I would have thought if CPAT was healthy. Um, and they were kind of working Huntley and they were running the shit out of the football um, just in general. But, I mean, he, he's he's worth more than a two right now, right? Yeah, he's somewhere between a two and a one, you know? Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I think if somebody was like, hey, I'll give you the two or one for him. Sure. Two. Or no 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 so so I'll trade you him for the two hundred one. Okay, you know what I mean. I mean I was paying in most leagues. I was buying him around that range already anyway. So that's just that's what I'm getting. I'm just paying the same investment I already probably paid. So you would swap him out? No, I'm not. I I own him in every league. I'm so. saying, but you wouldn't swap him out for the two one this year. No. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I hate to disrespect my man, but I'm very intrigued with with these. <clears throat> the second tier of running backs, you know, the the tank, the Sean Tucker, Char- but think, Charbonnet. But, yeah, but I don't see a difference between Charbonnet and Algier, and I already uh, know where Algier is. I don't know. I I, I think I do. Well, it could be draft capital. <laughs> could be draft. I capital. think I do sure. see a difference in Charbonnet and Algier. I mean, I, I think Charbonnet could could vault up towards the middle of the first round for me. I don't know. I haven't gotten into it yet, but I, I really like what I've seen so far and and all the numbers and. Who knows what's going to happen this offseason? I I think I'm still a little hesitant to trade that early two, you know, the mid, mid two. Okay. But I think I think I want to see what plays out throughout the NFL draft with the second tier of 2023 running backs before I go giving up the shot to get them. Because these rookie picks are only going to get more valuable as we move towards the NFL draft. We'll hit the combine. Some of these guys are going to blow it up, you know? Yeah. And... Th- I think the one thing that that's been made pretty clear over these last three weeks is that I don't think Algier is getting replaced. Well, he's still got Cordero there. No, that's fine, you know? but they're not going to bring somebody else in. So I guess that would it, be my only objection. There was why the only reason maybe that I wouldn't is because it just seemed like they were, again we gave we were given Swift the benefit of the doubt in what we just kind of talked about with him. If you missed that, but like they, at one point they were running. 
four different fucking running backs out there. They were running Huntley out there, and until he got hurt, I mean, Algier was. I'm not. I think Algier is plenty good if you give him the role. He's going to be good. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'm saying. But I, don't, do, I, 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 I think he's looked good in his role. I just, I'm not. I, I guess I'm not super confident that they wouldn't just pick up, draft another fifth rounder, or draft another fourth, draft somebody maybe a little higher, and just keep rotating these running backs I, i'm not too concerned about that i, I haven't think. i just I mean, don't ha, in what world can i like they just don't have any other options right now like cpat's yeah. old and and maybe a little nicked up and huntley just got hurt i mean until then they were splitting like and huntley was doing well with his you know he wasn't playing bad either yeah um and there's another running back in there that i'm avery williams avery williams that i'm blanking on and they'll, they'll still use him so it's just been a a huge conglomerate of running backs and now maybe he is staked his claim and maybe he can just be the guy and they'll they'll spell him a little bit with CPAT and maybe bring it you know draft the backup and yeah if he's, if he's yeah good, that's what can. I'm saying I don't think that my, my thought was hey go up and up until those first couple of weeks is that you know what I mean what's going on here are they gonna are they gonna bring in that that day two guy that I, I I'm not as worried about that if they draft someone in the sixth seventh round I, I'm not overly concerned about yeah, that I mean even fifth whatever you know I, I I'm not gonna be mad at him it's not gonna scare me off Al yeah. here he's proven to me that he can play in this league he looks pretty good when you watch him on the field uh seems like a smart guy like just just I, I like everything about Algier um what do you think I, what do you think the terms repli- he, he, he does seem a little like volatile still you know whether it's the situation the quarterback situation the coach the team in general i think this is a good question here because it's like i think you lean one way on him in general and you lean the other way in general what what makes you know what what seems to be the the rationale behind when you know you know People, Damian Pierce is going to get replaced, but Tyler Algier isn't going to get replaced. Like, you know, Tyler Algier is going to get replaced, but Damian Pierce isn't going to get, you know, nah, what, I, I what feel, makes people say that this fourth round, fifth round player isn't going to get replaced? You know, and I, I think the answer is, is, hey, I like him. So I'm going to find a reason why uh, they're not going to replace him. And hey, not that I don't like him, but I'm, he's never really been my guy. And I haven't necessarily turned the corner where he's like, I'm, I'm completely in his corner. I'm not against him if the value's right. I'll take him. And I think that is that not the answer? I mean, yeah, it's yeah, it's pre, it's 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 uh, it's um uh, it's um uh, what's the the um uh, take lock? Ta- no, not take lock. It's um uh, it's your bias, you know. Yeah, it's like I like yeah. the guy or I don't like the guy, and it's hard to come off bias. confirmation so, bias. Thank hard to you. come off of your opinion. I mean, I'm actually a little surprised that I, when you asked about the two one, you know, I didn't feel like I wanted to say yes because. Look, I watched some of the cutups of his recent games, and and like I said, he looked looked pretty damn strong on the field. And then I I didn't go from week nine. I just did overall stats for the whole year, and he was the fifth highest graded running back per PFF, tenth in missed forced tackles despite only being twenty fourth in attempts, fourteenth right. in yards after contact, but seventh in yards after contact per attempt. Like those are all really strong numbers, and you see that on the field when he's making guys miss. And no, he doesn't have. Uh, crazy athleticism or long speed, but he's breaking off nice explosive runs. Has a forty-four yard run. Can can the contact balance and the physicality, and he's just he's well put together. He's stocky when he's standing next to another guy. He's thicker than that fucking yeah. guy. Um, you know, like he just. And I think he's underutilized in the passing game because Cordero is is there and what is going to be there. Target share? What was it? I don't give a fuck. He can catch the high. ball. Yeah, it was probably pretty fucking good. He caught I mean, a lot how, of balls. How can we even have this discussion without that exact number? He caught a lot of balls uh, in college. So, uh, the but but then the fact that you know the the my only reservation on the early two is. These other running backs seem shinier, sparklier. And it's more so fun, shiny, you know. And it's not super fun to be like, "Oh yeah, I want the Atlanta Falcons running back." You know what I mean? Like, right. even though they are running the dog shit out of it, you know, I would assume that. We, well, we, I don't know. You know, again, I like the Texans. I don't like the Texans, but I like Damian Pierce. So when I talk about the Texans. Just like you shot down the Atlanta offense, everyone wants to shoot down the Texans offense. Could turn it right we, around. That thing could turn around. Right. And I was making I mean, that point earlier, and I got sidetracked. But like, yeah, that that is, you know, that that they they get a they get C.J. Stroud, they get a quarterback, they get a, a free agent quarterback. That you know, fuck, what if Lamar Jackson goes to Atlanta? Like, right, you know, um, not saying that's gonna happen. I'm just saying, like, Algiers' best season, he only got 28 passes. 
Mm, the plot thickens. Twenty eight. Over, over a twenty's good, number, good. Right? Over twenty's good. But really, the Arthur Smith offense kind of coming from Tennessee with a back who who was featured. You know, you'd like to maybe they maybe they get there, but it you know, he's not saying he's Derrick Henry by any means, but no, he's not small. No. no. Um you know, hey, his college target share was in the seventy seventh percentile. That means he's good. One hundred percent. Those are straight facts. Um, One hundred. But this offense is, no is something that isn't certainly scared to run the ball. And if if, <laughs> if, if, the, if, the, if the back can get in the feature role and be the guy, and sh- maybe Arthur Smith's offense completely would be go in a completely different direction if he had a great quarterback. But he knows he's probably going to be a middle of the road quarterback, so we he knows he can run like win like this with an offense like this. I mean, you say what you want about the fucking Falcons, but they were in a lot of games this year. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and I was always, fortunately for Drake you know, London and, and the, the rest of the team, Mariota wasn't They're great. When you watched enough him. to not get CJ Stroud. Mariota wasn't good when you watched him, but he put up fantasy points. Like it was just, they were, he's just kind of running around dinking and fucking Duncan. And Maybe we get a late garbage touchdown to really make your fantasy day. If they're, if they could be a little better on offense, they're, they're going to win some of those games. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as much as you want to hate on Arthur Smith, because he's not doing it the way you want him to do it. Right. Like, it's it's the running back position seems like it could be lucrative if you could catch it in the right one. So for that reason, if you want to if you I think if you want to invest in it, I can see that side of it of saying, yeah, give me the two one. Yeah, it's the Atlanta offense, but maybe it's the Atlanta offense. Like I want the running back in the Atlanta offense because they're going to use the shit out of him. Yeah. Is he replaceable? Probably so. I, I to your point, it doesn't seem like he's like like he's a little bit more in the Najee Harris vein than the than than the Swift vein. So like that's people are gonna be naturally more attracted to the Swift vein than the Najee vein, you know, just because that's the type of player that they I gotta have this ridiculously fast explosive guy or he's not I don't give a shit about the running back. And it's like, I mean, I don't think Algier can get it done. I think he's showing you can get it done. Absolutely. Um you need more targets, but you also need more touchdowns. Three isn't you know is it going to cut it um, from that perspective? And, and, you know, so uh, yeah, I, I guess I could be talked into a being in the, in the upper twos because it's worth a shot here. We, before we were kind of talking about this and I think when I discussed it, we got to a point where I was like, what, what's the big upside with Algier? And I, it was like, I don't know what the big upside with Algier kind of is like, so maybe I'd rather shoot for something else that the upside could be a little higher on, but maybe, maybe the floor is, is very safe. And we've, you know, you would assume that after year one of being good, you could expand upon getting, you know, that, that 10 for 50 being your standard. And it's more like 15 for 80 and three targets. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's what I think that's what has me intrigued is that we've seen what and a he touchdown can, every other week. Yeah, we can see we've seen these last three weeks that I think that the I I don't know if it's gonna be what he's gonna do every week next week, but shit, I mean, if it is, he's an RB one. Yeah, I mean, like you said, RB seven, eighteen points per game in the in the last. I guess what you know what the the one of the outliers in in that game. We just talked about it with somebody else, but a touchdown in week fifteen and a touchdown in week seventeen. And then the week he didn't score a touchdown, he had three catches. And he scored one other touchdown all all, all year. So yeah. I mean, and wasn't getting crazy usage, you know, early in the year, twenty fourth right. in attempts overall, and really piled that on. It's been fairly steady, season. but it hasn't been like you said. You mentioned it with the uh, was it missed tackles forced or yeah, something. Tenth. Right, Tenth, but, only, but only 24th right. in attempts overall. Yeah. So good with what he's getting. Right. Just, just is he's proven he can play, and there is something to be said for that. Isn't you know the hyper mean? athlete that's going to just, you know, Jamal Charles that bitch to the house when he gets a lane? He'll he'll make something good of it, and, yeah. and can. But um, yeah, I, I I think the nice thing is is that you're not going to see a lot of the negative and zero yard carries. You're going to get those consistent. Well, he gets you three. He'll get you. Yeah. He gets you four. You yeah, know, he get gets you, what's blocked plus a little bit. He, yeah. He's, and then you give legs him a are always churning. He falls forward. Like, and you and, give him a lane, he'll go for 40. And you that know what week, I mean? In that week nine uh, stat run there, he's number three in yards per attempt. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. kind of goes with what you're saying there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, something to be said for seeing it on the field in the NFL, on an NFL field. I don't I haven't seen any of these. Rookie running backs on an NFL field. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's uh, a double. I mean, he's not going to be exactly. He's he's a good doubles hitter that can give you that triple. And I mean, to an, I mean, uh, he's going to be that guy get, that gets you the occasional home run, per se. You and know the, OB, I mean? the OBS is good because of the catches, you know? David yeah. Montgomery. 
Yeah, he's right there with right. David. He's right there with David Montgomery. 45 and 44 missed tackles for us. It's a good comp. Yeah. If you're into that sort of stupid thing. I don't thing. know if he's as good as pass catchers David Montgomery is, but I mean, I think he's right, I think he's right there. I mean, he has a higher elusive uh, elusive rating on PFF than Montgomery does. Yeah. All right, well, let's round this thing out with um a couple of player values rather than we, we talked a little bit about the um would you trade uh, Alec Pierce for uh, Tyler Algier? I want Algier. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, you know, right now Algier is uh, 160-156. Obviously, this is December. I think that's going to go way up because we just had 137 three. 137. We had three games. Oh, you got one? I'm, I'm in super flex. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so that'll go way up, I would yeah. assume. So yeah. we could probably say past uh, Pierce, which I'm sure a lot of people probably had Pierce right ahead of, of, yeah. of Algier. Yeah. Uh, Khalil Herbert or... Uh, oh, that's a good one. I think that's Algier. a good one. Give me Herbert. <sighs> What's going to happen uh, with Monty? He's an unrestricted free yeah. agent, you know? Yeah, I think I even might take Herbert. Again, there. you know, they could repl- They could bring another guy in, too, yeah. in the middle of this. We just Herbert's don't fucking like, know. Like, Herbert's like so... We, you can live your life like that the whole fucking time and mm-hmm. be scared or like, yeah. dude, we're fucking playing fake football. Like, yeah. give me Real a guy who I think's decent and, and let's fucking go. Like my good friend Meek Mill said, scared money <laughs> don't make no money. That's what we're talking about. Good um, friend. Kadarius Tony or Tyler Algier. Uh, uh, and I think, I think when we talked about this last time, I took Tony because I was like, give me all that upside that Tony has. Still taking Tony. News news flash. Yeah, I think Tony is a great I don't know. I don't know likes target. that. People are like, you gotta sell that guy. I'm just like the same. I yo, I can't so many fu- I can't not agents. watch when he's got the ball in his hand. It's ridiculous. Right. There's so many free agents. Who knows what's gonna happen in that wide receiver room? Tony's value is going up this offseason. I fucking promise you that. Right now he's an awesome trade target. Whether you need to use Algier or not. What do you think? I'm sticking to my guns. I'm taking my guy still. I think it's still yeah, too. I think I most think, people. I think the value is still on Algier side. Leaning with you, but uh, I think it's cl- I think it's cl- I think it's closer than what the consensus may have it. Um, tight end I'm, premium Darren Waller or Algier. Let me yes. get a little something extra. Let me send off Waller. Get Algier plus a little something. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, a little something, something. I don't know if you're gonna get that because I think well, you Waller, just saw what he, he just he's like back. Waller value down a little bit, but he's giving you a little bit of what could, what can be again. Yeah, yeah, I think Wall. I think I think the value is on the Waller side. Yeah, I think people are going to disagree he's with old. that, but I agree with you. Um, yeah, he's got. Yeah, but he's yeah, but he's still he's that tight end that, that that can be a weekly, especially in tight end premium where he can be a weekly winner. He's a young old James Cook or Algier. Algier. Woo! Just quickness. All right, so two different guys. That's, Even yeah. though I, I will cook give, a little more of the I, Swift fade. I will give you this guy. I, I, the, in the little bit of the game I watched, oh, I was watching the game on Monday. He looks. He he. he yeah, he's been good. When he man. touches yeah. the ball. Yeah, he's looked. He better. was he was number two in yards per attempt in, through week nine. Cook man. Yeah, mm-hmm. looks good. Dude. Yeah. Well, will but again, will they fucking give him the the yeah, role and the, give him right, the attempts yeah. and get him involved in the pass game, which they have been a little bit here and there? Has looked good through the back half of the season. Yeah. Again, on the dynasty buy list for sure. I think um, I'm. I think I'm taking the. I think with that, I'm just. I'm banking on that Algier floor over Cook. Yeah, yeah. I do it's think a the ceiling's more a, of a swing. I think the ceiling's a little bit higher on Cook than it is on Algier, but choke up a little bit, grip, get a get a little extra pine tar. Swing, swing a little harder there with James Cook. You taking Dallas Goddard over Algier? Titan Premium. Yes. Yeah, me too. Okay, that's yeah. a that's a for sure. Dallas Goddard on the trade targets too. So just but not Dalton Schultz throwing him out there. But not Dalton Schultz. Nope. Interessante. I think I'm still taking Schultz and Titan Premium. What's gonna happen with Schultz? I don't that's know where I'm at. I don't know, but I like him, so it's gonna be good. <laughs> Fair. Telling you he's Austin Hooper 2.0. I can't Ugh. get the big quote, maybe, quote maybe. out of my head where he said, Cowboys have a record of paying guys who score touchdowns. <laughs> I don't um, know if he's going to be a Cowboy, though. Cam Akers or Algier? Oh, I don't know. Ooh. Cam's hot God. in them streets. Cam's hot, very hot in them streets. Yo, hot in the sheets, le- too, boy. Woo! <laughs> league winner Cam Akers. Who'd have thunk it six weeks mm. ago? 
Yeah, I'm likely Cam, Canada. You know where I was real impressed with Cam was in pass protection this mm. past week. Yeah. He was just laying dudes out. Uh, I guess you got to go with the upside, right? Yeah, I think the upside is still And Cam. you love the Rams, so it's a tough one. I think here, the upside's huh? with Cam. Oh, boy. Things are percolating. Things are percolating. You went from being completely dead. Oh, yeah. I was cha- I quick was, resurgence. That's what I was I'm talking trading about. for all the, the Kyron court, Williams. The public shares. opinion is the most valuable thing in Dynasty. It is. Yeah. It's like it's like Moore. it's just like the stock market. It you know is. what I mean? Just do exactly what the, oh, the, the this big company is. that we all like before was doing well again. Yeah, we'll get back in there. Yeah. Um, J.K. Dobbins, stick with that class. Big company? You talking about Big Co? Yeah. <laughs> big Co. Dobbins? No, Dobbins. Dobbins or <sighs> That's Algier? Too easy. You got to stick with Dobbins. That's Agreed. too easy. Agreed. All right. Well, it was pr- we've been pretty heavy Algier um, through here. Bateman. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you're a Bateman guy too. Yeah, huh? I think I'm plucking those strings. That's yeah. why I get it. I think I'm going to stick with uh, the Bateman. Ooh, I thought for sure you were going Algier. Pisces. It's close. It's close. If it's quarter point per carry, give me Algier. Mm, throwing the cube. <laughs> <laughs> give me that cube. Give me that cube. QPC. <laughs> Jared Judy or uh, Judy. Judy. Judy, quick that's, Judy's quick, a trade that's target. Quick yeah. Judy's, quick Judy's, yeah. quick Judy's. All right, I think Judy's that's enough. Judy's proven he can play. Yeah, for sure. I think that's enough. I was trying to find a quarterback, but I mean. Jared uh, Goff. We really, we really crushed our draft in this Patreon Jared Goff? three. We didn't win the Tell championship. Me. Hey, shout out to Big D. I haven't said anything in there. I guess we probably got to just concede. I needed 50 points for Joe Burrow. It looked like he was on his fucking way. You needed 50 points? We did. That's Thank why you. I said we, okay. didn't I? No, you said I. I thought he said we. I thought I said we. We, we. I did say we crushed it in that league. We did. Because we're the only team in the championship realm of things that didn't completely trade away all of our fucking picks yeah, even until though, the very end. Even though we did trade our first for Mike Williams literally at 1245 yeah. on Sunday. We got a third back. Yeah. Trying to win. Well, well, You're welcome. We were trying to win. Yeah. Got, we were, we, we were trying three. to get... Got three we were, of them. We were trying to get Godwin. I got, I got wow. one. I got one. You got one? Yeah, in like the lowest money league I'm in. Mm. But hey, it's with the uh, it's with the guys over at the the Dynasty Funhouse Podcast Network, the only at work in town. Uh, I did win the league. I can't up say sh- I know what that is. But I don't the, listen to it's conglomerate. Other shows. Yeah, the um, uh, yeah, I put uh, I was at two forty going into Monday Night Football. Two forty. Two forty. Strong number. Yeah. Devonta Smith or Algier. Devonta Devonta Smith, Smith or Algier? I just, just, I just, I just want to see how high he'll that's, go. That's 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 absurd. He went, absurd. he went Bateman. We definitely got a thumbs down Which after I guess, that. Well, yeah, I, just, that, I threw yeah. one more big big Thanks dog. For, we out need there. to do Bateman worth the first. How high are you going on? <laughs> or uh, not Bateman? Uh, Devonta Smith. Well, we will. We got a list of worth. Give me the first. Devonta Smith over all those wide receivers coming out this year. Just like I said last year, I said last year I'd rather have. Devonta Smith and all the run, wide receivers coming yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, at one point, but I mean, that was probably not accurate. I, I mean, fuck. He's great. I mean, he's been... He's fucking yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. All, it's just it's just catch after catch where he's just like, how did he even make that catch? You know? know? We got a little Devonta Smith at the end of this video here just because I wanted to throw him out there. I just... I didn't. For, I didn't really know where you stood on Devonta Smith, and I just wanted to see how high. I'm not, he's not blind. Yeah. Well, or stupid. Well, uh. <laughs> he's not blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has hands. Fucking Devonta Smith is a fucking oh, stud. Hoss. Uh, fucking. Just yeah. That was that was a bad question? I had him ahead of Waddle bad originally, question. but that was probably inaccurate. Uh, but. Yeah, you put him over there in Miami. Oh, I mean, sure. I mean, that, you could <laughs> say that a lot, but yeah, you could put I mean, Waddle and he's put Waddle in Philly, Waddle. and he would he would right. crush it. He's probably got more points than Waddle does. He he may with some QB injuries and some Waddle injuries, and Tyreek just being fucking. Yeah, amazing. Waddle was pretty pretty strong for a big yeah. chunk of the season. All right, you got a little bonus on that one. Algier is worth. I think it was worth what. Uh, by the way, <laughs> Waddle is beating Smith by eight points. So, you know, I was wrong on that one. But Devonta is fucking great. Uh, yeah, for sure. Devonta had zero week one, so let's, let's yeah. count out. Let's, let's <laughs> yeah. get rid of week one. Waddle's got even. some fucking zeros in there from going out injured or something. All Waddle right. might have missed a game, too. Got no, they both played 16. 
Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, five star ah, review. We gotta do that before we get to the end, Casey. All that jazz. I think it's perfect. Uh uh. Uh -uh. Perfect. People that uh, made it this far have already subscribed. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they just needed a little reminder at the end. They got a little too high. They were like, huh, you know what, man? <laughs> I will have a ham sandwich and, and subscribe. Go over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty. Hit us with the five dollar Go to revelrybrewingco.com. Get it. Get one of these t-shirts. There's more than two. There's one for you waiting. If you're listening on the podcast, hit me with a five star review on the iTunes and the Spotify. All of our errors are pointing at Matt. It must be important. Matthew? It's kind of coming out of Matt. Oh. All right. I think you're. I'm looking at the TV. And I'm looking at arrows and. Even the TV doesn't yeah. have an arrow pointing at Matt. Well, I was. Are you blind? Around. Simmons is old. Might be. Well, what do you think of him? I want to get that sound bite for these rookie profiles. <laughs> Need to get a lot of sound bites. Rookie profiles coming. We're out. See ya. Peace.